I think I need a little bit more improvement and with that I will be able to pass. With that I will be able to pass. With that I will be able to pass. Welcome to RDT One to One, real driving tutorials. One to one. Today's tutorial is about a mock test that was held at one of Sydney's testing centers. We will show you in this tutorial how the examiner gives instruction during the test. We will also highlight all of the learner's good and bad performances during the test. As a result, you will have a very clear imagination of what the test looks like. We will publish the result at the end of the test and explain if any mistakes were made. So, let's get this started, buckle up, and get ready. If you find our tutorial helpful, please subscribe, like, and share it. With just a few clicks, you can save our channel and help us to grow. Let's keep following Shauna through her mock test. We divided her driving into three parts, because there are so many lessons to be learned. This is the third and final part of the series. If you haven't seen the first two parts yet, look for them in the description below. Make sure you watch the full episode because we've skipped the boring bits and kept only the essential parts with appropriate commentary. So let's get started. Excellent. She maintained a neutral and safe position by approaching straight in front of her lane after the white SUV began passing her in preparation for the turn, and she completed the turn nicely and safely. Continue following this road until the next direction. Keep an eye out for the stop line and the other two road markings ahead. The scene demonstrates precisely what I just explained earlier. Keep an eye out for this keep clear sign on the road, often it is located in front of emergency vehicle exits. In this case, you can see on the left that there is a fire rescue office. The fire truck could leave at any time through the left hand gates. As a result, it's critical to keep the area clear at all times. Even though the white car is turning into a driveway just to the right of the keep clear sign, it should stay behind the line and complete the turn when it is safe to do so. If the keep clear sign is meant for the side vehicle to enter an intersection, they can only come and wait there. Don't get confused if you haven't got it. If we face this scene in future, we will explain again. As soon as the light turned amber, she didn't rush through and came to a nice, gentle stop behind the first line. Beautiful. Perfect. This 40 sign should be taken into consideration. At all times, this sign denotes a speed of 40 km per hour. It's not the same as the 40 sign that's operated by the school. How do you tell the difference between the two? Well, if you notice, the number 40 is written in white on a plain road surface, whereas within the school zone, the number 40 is written in black on a yellow painted road surface. Keep an eye on the white sign on the left for clarification. Where it says, High Pedestrian Activity Area 40, it means High Walking Activity Area, and you should not drive more than 40 km per hour.
beautiful. She came to a complete stop in response to the taxi reversing hazard, leaving one to two cars gap, which is ideal. Take careful note. It is safe to pass the taxi because the reverse light is off, and the taxi is now turning to the left to move to the left. However, it is possible that it will reverse again, and in the process, its front end will return to the road. Take note, if no one is near the crossing and you are confident that no one will appear, don't stop at the zebra crossing simply because it is a crossing. Go over it slowly in preparation for stopping if necessary, but don't stop for no apparent reason. Even if there are no pedestrians, don't think some ghosts may still cross the road. After all, the ghost doesn't need the crossing to travel in the first place. Another excellent stop at the traffic light. Following sets of traffic lights, turn left. Keep this in mind. If you see people standing on the median strip, don't slam on your brakes to make them cross the street in front of you. They might just be waiting for you to pass before crossing the other half when it's safe. On the other hand, slamming the brakes could be dangerous because the rear car may not be able to respond to your stop in time and collide with you and forcing the pedestrians to cross the road puts them in a hurry. Furthermore, if a bike or other vehicle passes you by and hits a pedestrian, you may be held liable for forcing them to cross the road. She's making a left turn at a traffic light with a sign that says, turn left at any time with care. This sign indicates that you may turn left at any time, even during a red light, if no pedestrians are crossing at the crosswalk and no traffic approaching from your right. It's noteworthy that she has come to a complete stop safely and entirely before the crosswalk to allow the pedestrian to cross. Even though there was no traffic coming from her right, she continued to wait. It is safe and legal to proceed and stop near the dashed stop line, even up to behind the parked vehicle, in preparation for a turn. If any part of the car is still over the crosswalk, Pedestrians will have enough room to cross behind a learner's vehicle rather than in front of one waiting to turn left at this type of sign. Now you understand what I'm talking about. She continued to wait for no apparent reason. No one is approaching from the right. She waited until the light turned green, even though it was unnecessary to wait that long for no reason. She has disobeyed the turn left at any time with care sign at this point. It could result in a fail in the test. Fail item number F1, disobeying traffic signs, signals or road markings. It doesn't matter if the light changes to amber now because she entered the intersection when the light was green. There is no penalty for continuing through the intersection, in fact, she is required to do so, and the red light camera will not catch her.
the next roundabout turns left. No way. The bike is making a right turn. With the appropriate indicator turned on, Shauna failed to yield to him and entered the roundabout, forcing him to come to a halt in the middle of it to avoid a collision. She failed to give way, which is a fail for the test, and the fail item number is F2, failing to give way when necessary. Continue straight through the roundabout, and then we will head back to the test center. Turn right here. And then park in any of the bays on your right. Okay, Shorna. That is the end of your test. I'll now calculate your score and then we'll discuss the result with you. Shorna, what do you think about your test today? I think I need a little bit more improvement. And with that I will be able to pass. Shorna, I feel sorry for you. You are correct. Today is not a good day. You failed the test and made multiple mistakes. During the test, Addison had already explained all of the errors. Except for one, I agree with all of them. She addressed the signaling errors as a fail item number F19 in the first part of your test. It's actually fail item number F12, which is frequently not signaling intention. And you've made mistakes in doing head checks that Addison has pointed out on multiple occasions, accruing you a fail item number F19, frequently not making required observation checks. We allow up to two signal errors, if you make three or more, you will fail the test, the same as with a head check or an observation error. I recommend that you stay calm and relax during your test, Shorna. Instead of stressing about passing the test, concentrate on driving safely. In some cases, you drove well, demonstrating your dedication to preparing for the test. So, best of luck, and I hope you'll be able to make it in next time. Whoops! Please accept my apologies for mixing up F12 with the fail item number F19. It's indeed human to make mistakes. Note that, we hold the students to such high standards to ensure that they comply with most of the rules in their daily lives. If we allow them to make more mistakes and still pass the test with a score of less than 90%, they will make different mistakes in real life, which will be dangerous for all road users and it would increase the number of people killed in automobile accidents each year. If you'd like to create a mock test video tutorial for yourself in your own area, you can reach out to us via Facebook Messenger or Facebook page. More information can be found in the description box below. We wish you all the best and encourage you to stay safe on the road. And we'll catch up with you in our next video. If you enjoyed the tutorial, Subscribe to our RDT121 channel to get more amazing videos in the future. Please let us know what you would like to see more of.